Think Tech Hawaii. Civil engagement lives here. <clears throat> Aloha. It's Tuesday, May the 8th. It's noon. And that means it's time for What's on Your Mind Hawaii. I'm your host, Tim Apicella. For today's show, we will explore proposed bill number 37. This bill was introduced by Honolulu Councilman Trevor Ozawa. The bill proposes to remove the shade pavilions located along the Waikiki beachfront. These shade canopies have served a vital purpose for decades, giving people a break from the hot sun and a place just to sit and relax. The crux of Bill 37 seeks to identify those public structures that have been identified as places of illegal activity and therefore subject to required demolition. On May the 4th, 2018, Natanya Friedenheim wrote for the Civil Beat on the subject of these pavilions. Councilman Trevor Ozawa was quoted to say, destroy the pavilions, demolish them. The councilman prefers open space or trees in lieu of the pavilions. Further, he feels they serve as hiding places where people use or sell drugs. Bill 37 would, as Councilman Ozawa said, and he quotes, it creates less hidden areas, it exposes the area to more sunlight and visibility, transparency, so that things cannot be hidden, people cannot feel as if they're secure in their illegal activities, and we have more eyes on the area. So let's take a look at these pavilions and see what this issue really entails. Uh, first picture, please. Uh, recently, some of these um, pavilions have actually been converted to uh, basically entail um, concession stands. And in the case of this one, this, this is a food concession stand. And as you can see, they're serving shrimp, and um, there's little tables and little, um, little uh, stool, stool seats there for people to take advantage of. So um, this one looks like it's in some pretty good shape. Next one, please. Um, to get a little closer look, the, the benches now are out on the front by the, um, the stone wall, but underneath the pavilion, you can see there's tables and there's little benches for people to um, basically eat from that which they bought from the concession stand. Next. Uh, okay, so going further down Waikiki Beachfront, under this particular uh, pavilion, you see that we see the bench and the one-piece seat and the, the bench table, and we do, have, um, we do have someone sleeping at the base of the pillar of, um, of underneath this pavilion. So the question is, is that what this bill is intended to uh, get at? Is it, is it intended to remove this, this individual who's sleeping at the base of the, uh, the pillar? The question is, does that promote tourism? Is this pavilion strictly for tourists, or is it a shared use? So this may be part of the issue. Um, is that illegal activity? Um, could be, because there is a sit and lie ban now in place in the Waikiki district, and that could be considered illegal, illegal activity. The question is, does that warrant uh, the destruction and removal of the shade pavilions that literally have been there for decades? It is curious that given the comments about illegal activity and the intent of Bill 37, there is a Honolulu satellite police station just yards away from these pavilions. And if criminal activity is a constant issue, then how is it not resolved by police monitoring and arrests, but rather by employing a city bulldozer? When Bill 37 goes through the legislative pathways, through committee hearings and through general council meetings, there will be those who will know how to support or not support this bill via their given testimony. They will have the ability and knowledge to register their comments through a city council website or appear to testify in person. It is quite doubtful we will hear from those who are the target of Bill 37, the homeless or those who are on their own healing journey away from drugs and alcohol addiction. Hearing their opinions at the Honolulu Halle is not likely going to happen. Giving a voice to the voiceless is an objective of journalism. Hearing from those viewpoints of our residents, whether they have the power or have been rendered powerless, whether seated on the top of economic ladder or found well below the rungs, hearing from those 
that will be impacted by the proposed Bill 37 is only fair and is one of the principles I had in mind with this show, What's on Your Mind Hawaii. All stories, all issues have two or more sides. And with this in mind, one of these interviews we will see today stands on its own. It stands as a candid interview with those we would not normally hear from and stands as a valid and important point of view. And now, those interviews. This is Tim Apicella for What's On Your Mind Hawaii. I'm here down at the Waikiki Pavilion and we are going to talk about Bill 37, the proposal to remove these pavilions from the Waikiki Beach Line. I'm here with, in your name, sir? My name is called Camilo Kahanamoku Uhuele Lilio Kalani Jr. Aloha. Aloha. Sir? Yeah, my name is James Williams. Okay. Well, gentlemen, thank you for uh, taking the time to uh, sit down with me and share what's on your mind about the proposal, Bill 37, to rem remove these pavilions from the uh, Waikiki area. Uh, one moment. And I would like to say from Lilio Kalani, the Bishop of State is trying to take over our land, our land. We own 25 feet upon this ocean that our queen called Queen Emma Kuyo Kalane, Lilio Kalane, my grandma. Okay, well, let me ask you this question because I think that's an important point. Because before we started the show here, uh, you had mentioned that all peoples, Hawaiian peoples, any, all peoples basically are allowed to use the beach line, and you said 25 feet, and that is something that's been you know, basically guaranteed from, from times of way back. So what do you think the purpose is of the removal of this pavilion, all the pavilions down here now? What do you, what do you think they're doing that? Because... Because Lilio Kalani Jr. said they're trying to, you know, make economy and tourism grow. And, and then it's not right. They're stealing our sand to build these hotels. And that's not right. Give us some sympathy. Give us some heart. Give us some love. As we give you aloha for many things. When somebody dies in your family, you cry. If you don't cry, you ain't a human being. James, James, what do you think? Well, personally, I think that this is it's basically built for the tourists. And if you take the shelter away, I mean, the tourists have no shelter because it's mainly for them. Look at the other pavilion and see how, how crowded that pavilion is with tourists over there. This, okay, maybe it's a little bit. But other than that, every other pavilion is inhabited with tourists. And, I mean, they need it for shelter from the rain. They need it from shelter from the sun, you know. And, I mean, there's not trees. It's not like being in a park, in like an open park where there's full of trees. They will not get blockage from the sun. So they will not be able to enjoy their lunch. They will not be able to enjoy their breakfast. They will not be able to enjoy their coffee, you know. And that, I mean, just taking it away from a simple problem of homelessness you know, that which can be controlled, is, is, it doesn't make any sense, you know. Well, let me, let me clarify a little bit about Bill 37, because a council member, his name is Trevor Ozawa, has introduced this bill within the last month or so, and it basically says that if there's illegal activity, then at these, all places that have been identified for any illegal activity shall basically be removed. Now, I've watched... I've been down here many, many years, and I've watched, you know, some activities, um, but I don't think anyone's hurting anybody down here. No, so do you think this is more about not Ill illegal activity, but maybe they just don't want tourists to be co with you guys, or what do you think? I mean, what do you think this is all about? It could be that. It could be that. Maybe they feel like the tourists do not want to mingle with the local kind of people, you know what I'm saying? And you think that's right? Well, 
No, because we talk to tourists every day, and they come and they hang with us, and you know, right now. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let him, let him finish. You know why? Because I'm gonna tell you why, Lily O'Connor. I'm gonna tell you why. Because what are the tourism? Economy cannot grow. Okay, let James finish, but that's a good point. Hang on, go ahead, James. Yeah, I mean, basically, it's built for the tourists. And we have worked and we are working together to clean this up and to make it habitable for the tourists to come and enjoy, you know, their family time and their, you know, just to basically cruise. And, you know, we have worked on it over the days. You know, ever since they made a point to do so. But taking the roof down, I just think that's not a smart idea because, like I said, it takes away the shelter and it will, nobody will be here. Well, one of the proposals is either to make more concession stands like the, um, what is it, the grass, the grass hut up the, up the pavilions up here, yeah, yeah. Um, or make these into an, some kind of art gallery, uh, something of that nature. I mean, it doesn't seem to me that that's going to be used all that much for those purposes, but maybe it is. Um, do you see a lot of people use the grass? Uh, is it the grass hut? Oh, you see that plant over there? Hang on there. Down on that end very much. Uh -huh. but, I mean, I guess they do, you know, down on that side, but they got plenty of restaurants over here, so. Yeah. And what do you think? Do you think these, whether the more restaurant concessions come in here or it's for artwork, do you think that's going to bring more people down here or? Or is this just going to be a waste of time and money? Wow. Camilo Kahana Moko Uhu Hele Lili Okalani Se Junior. They hurt our Laupaka. Our Laupaka is for shiny glass. Any kind, goggles, everything. Look all ball ahead now. They caught them. The thing going to die. Get okay. That. You're not going to get that plant no more. Okay. So if you had a chance to talk to the person who's proposing this, okay, and that's council member uh, Trevor Ozawa, or anyone who's sympathetic to, you know, basically seeing this completely changed out, what, what would you tell them? What would you say? Well, you actually have to think about the history of these pavilions and how long they've been standing here. I mean, from what I understand, they've been here for decades and decades, you know. It was, they was here when there was no grass and it was all concrete. That's how long that these have been here. And taking the roofs out, I mean, there's no serious illegal activity going on to where they have to do something like that. Well, that's, that's why they're, that's why the bill has been placed because they, some people feel that that is what's going on. So how do you address that or how, how do you respond to that when, like I said, I, I've, I've seen you guys here today. I didn't see you guys doing anything wrong, but what do you say? Well, <laughs> this, this is what I say. As a Hawaiian like me, 99% Hawaiian, 1% Chinese, I've been in the war. I've been in the military called the Black Berets, Roger Rabbit. I gonna tell you something about Highland. I not trust the Bishop of State cause they build houses and they gotta pay tax. Come on. But they build a house on their land and they gotta pay tax. Tax? Where I come from? No ways, honey. I own 800 feet on top of the surface, down to the ground, where my ancestors buried underneath my house. But I'm going to say something. I, I, you know, I, I might be broken English, but I understand what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say, take the, take the, take the Hawaiian division rights up in Washington. 
See who's your grandparents. You can beat them. You can beat them underneath the Hawaiian division rights. And you be a proud woman, a proud family, and a proud sibling, faithfully. Faithful, gorgeous, and lovable family. Thank you. James? I believe if they do take the roofs out of here, all they're going to do is they're going to bring more canopies in because the locals do that. Hawaiians do that. They pinch, they pinch canopies up and they have the powwows, you know, for the family because it's about to be summertime. The swell's about to come in and all the locals are going to inhabit it. The pavilions, you know, because that's what they do. They come down here and, like, right there, you see a whole family full of people going out there with their kids. Going out there so camp. taking the, 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 the pavilion down isn't going to change anything. This can't, people have come with their own independent canopies and, and up they go, right? Is that what you're saying? Right, right. That's what I believe, yeah. I mean, the cops, they won't stop it because they're local too. You know? let, me, let me get back to the point that... Again, the, the reason they want to take these down is because they believe there's illegal activity. So you were going to address that. So what do you think about that? There is, there is no illegal activity. I mean, what kind of illegal activity can there be? I mean, if the cops, I mean, this is the main, basically the main strip, the main drag. And if the cops cannot notify any illegal activity, and you know put a stop to it right. what is taking that down going to do what is that going to change it's not going to change anything it will still be the exact same you know so it just doesn't make sense to take that down i mean the people are not going anywhere you know i mean look down in chinatown where they allegedly supposed to have had gambled down they took the ceiling down there but they are still there you know. And that was just in the news today, that exact point, yeah, yeah. that there was illegal gambling, so the canopy was taken down, yeah. but people are still there, and I don't know if there are gambling going on still or not, but people are still coming there. Yeah, yeah, people are still there. It doesn't make a difference, you know. But like I said, it's, it's basically built for the tourists. All they got to do is just keep it clean, enforce the cleaning, you know, make sure everything is clean, put together, you know. Everything like that, which is I, I have been working on doing that the last few days, ever since it has been addressed over the last few days. But today it's kind of not looking too well. But, you know, I have been keeping it clean and keeping everything together so people can enjoy, like, you know, when they go to the, the little small restaurants or the restaurants, they come over here and eat. And, you know, and we never bother them. We never talk to them. We never, never say one word. Yet. I heard you say the heart of Waikiki. I heard you say that when I was um, um, asking James a question. What is the heart of Waikiki? No, I don't know. Waikiki is this pavilion. This is the heart. This way, the do Kahanamoku, my great, 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 great grandfather, served the tsunami. <laughs> The biggest wave from way down there, all the way across over there below a bell. Okay. Well, you know, gentlemen, I want to first say thank you for sharing your thoughts and your opinions about this because uh, at some point this may or may not be passed. And I think before any bill is passed, whether you testify at the legislature or not, or excuse me, the city council or not, that's beside the point is that there is a point to be heard and there's an opinion to be heard. Exactly. And it's only fair before any action is taken to talk to the people who use this space and... Exactly, exclamation point, three time period. Okay, well, I appreciate that. So, hang on here. See, I'm, in a, I'm in a transition right now where I'm working to get a job. Yeah, I'm out here on the streets, I'm homeless, but I'm in a transition right now to get a job. I got my second ID. I got a cell phone now to where I can get contacted for a job. And so that's what I'm working on. Like next week, sometime next week, you know, I got a knee injury. I got to let that heal a little bit. 
But, yeah, I mean, I don't plan on being here within the next year. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not in this in, in this situation. But, I mean, I just don't think that that's the wise thing to do is to take the ceiling down because yeah. it's for those yeah. guys. It's for the tourists. Okay, well, I appreciate you spending the time and sharing your opinion. And, you know, I really appreciate you coming yes. to spend your time and, and sharing your opinion. Sure, you have a good perspective. Economy. You have a long-time perspective. Aloha. And it's always good. Aloha, my friend. Thank you so much. Thank you again. This is Tim Apicella for What's On Your Mind Hawaii for Think Tech Hawaii. Aloha. Aloha. <laughs>this is Tim Apichel with Think Tech Hawaii. This is for What's On Your Mind Hawaii, and I'm here with Kai today. We're down here at the Waikiki Beach, yes, we and are. we're here right under the pavilions, which is proposed to be torn out by Bill 37, uh, introduced by uh, Council Member Trevor Ozawa. Kai, you, um, you're a local, local Hawaiian. Yes, I am. Yes, I am very local Hawaiian. I am from this place, and this place, is these, these local people, these local women and children I'm women men and women we don't we don't bother no one there's no, there's no problems there and the tourists our tourism our tourism industry we love this place well the specifics of this bill 37 is to say that if it's a, a location where there's illegal activity then therefore that I that would give a rationale for tearing the whole pavilion out um, yeah. number one is I, I come down here all the time and I, I don't see a whole lot of of this sort of thing, but what do you think? I see nothing. I don't see any problems with these these people. They don't bother anyone. They don't bother the tourism. They don't bother the ocean. They don't bother nothing. They take actually pick up. They 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 clean this place up. They pick up the rubbish, the the trash if you want to, and they it's a it's a good thing. And if you want to tear this down, that is that's a terrible. That that would not be right. You've been here for a long time. Do you know how long these pavilions have actually been in place? I, I, I was born in this state in 1959. This has been here since 1959 because I've been coming to Waikiki all my life, and I'm from the other side of this island, the other side, Eva Beach, you know? So this has been here, and it doesn't, it doesn't bother. It helps to be. It helps to get so this is almost like a landmark that is associated with Waikiki, that people have come to see this for years and years and years. And it just seems to me that this is kind of a drastic measure, but at the same time, they're trying to encourage more tourism to come down here and, and use, the, use this space. So where do you think the balance is? The balance is this, this type of thing should, in fact, there should be more because we have, this is concrete buildings here. And there's no shade, there's no shade for the people. There's not enough trees. You want to tear these trees down? This monkey paw trees and this pavilions, that that that'll hurt us. That'll hurt the that hurt hurt the local people and tourism. It'll hurt tourism. Do you think this bill is designed to try to clear out people that are homeless and that come here during the day and and sit and use the you know use the benches and things? Do you think this whole thing is just to encourage um, to remove the people who are homeless? I I sure hope not because the tourism. I mean the, the our homeless and everything, they have places to go. They, they don't use this to really to use this to as a you know place to sleep and things the tourists our tourism this is for them and it's nothing to do with the homeless the homeless have a place to go 
you know, and that's what I'm saying. It, you have to respect our tourism, our ocean, our land, our mountains, Makai and Mauka, and hey, take it easy. So you, you seem bothered by this, and I, I suspect you're bothered because you, people who are Hawaiians do come down here, and they do sit here, and it just seems to, you're upset because that doesn't seem fair, or why? Tell me, tell, tell me why you, you're, you're not happy about this. Unfortunately, even go, we'll go back to Duke Kohana Moku, okay? We'll go back to the Duke. This is his place. I mean, he, I mean, he won Olympic gold medal. He's an Olympic gold medalist, and he can swim like a, like a, like a, you know, like a normal person. And these people here, they, they come here and enjoy the, the spirit of aloha. You know, you know what I'm saying? They come here to enjoy this, and I, we would not want to see this torn down because they would hurt a lot of people. You know, before this interview started, you said to me that, that a lot of people that, that stay here during the day, they're actually helping tourists with directions and helping them find this landmark or land, landmark along Waikiki. Um, is that the spirit of Aloha that you're talking about? Absolutely. That is the spirit of Aloha. And hey, you know, if you don't have the Aloha in you, 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 don't, have, you don't have love. You, you got to love this place. And that's, they have it. And they really do. I'm serious. So it's not fair to try to relocate them and take take out the sunshade. And um, let me ask you this: if if, if you <laughs> okay, thank you. No, that's all right. Um, if you had an opportunity to, to speak directly to uh, Council Member uh, Trevor Ozawa and anyone who's going to vote for this Bill 37, and let's say you had 30 seconds to have them in a room to listen to your opinion and and your aloha, what what would you say specifically, sir? 30 seconds would be a short time that I wouldn't have to t speak with you, Mr. Trevor or Ozawa. Or, you know, Mr. Trevor Ozawa, I did not vote for you, but hey, I'd like to speak with you. I really do. So you think he should come down here and, and talk to everybody before they try to promote this, this bill? Absolutely. Absolutely. C come down here and see what it's like down here with these people. Because they're real people, my man. Oh, whoever you are, they're very real. Let's live, live aloha. Kai, let's live aloha. Let's, live. let's invite Council Member Trevor Ozawa down here to Waikiki and let him speak to the people that's going to be affected by this. I'm Tim Apicella with Kai. And Kai, thank you so much You're for what's on your mind in Hawaii for Think Tech Hawaii. Aloha. That's our show for this week. Our next show is on May the 22nd. I thank you very much for tuning in, and if you have an opinion or if you have something that you want to share on Think Tech Hawaii, why don't you give us a call? Why don't you check in with Think Tech Hawaii, and uh, perhaps we can interview you, and you can share your thoughts and views. So for now, thank you again, and aloha.